Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? And what we have here, we can write this as x squared over 36 can also be write as c squared equals to also here we have 6 squared over x squared. Then from here we cross multiply that is x squared times x squared also equals to c squared times six squared then from here this follows when we have a times a which can be written as a squared and this same thing multiplying we can write as x squared then all square equals to also six square all square the next step we bring everything to one side at this year and take the right hand side to left hand side and this becomes x square or square minus c square or square then equals to zero here this follows when we have a square minus b square which can be written as a plus b into bracket then open bracket a minus b this year a standing as x square and b standing as six square that is all we have here becomes x square plus six square into brackets also open brackets x square minus six square plus brackets then equals to zero here then from here we have two possible cases. The first one we have x square plus six square equals to zero, or we have x square minus six square equals to zero here. Then solving on this side, this follows when we have a square plus b square, which is the same thing as a plus b i into brackets. Also, open brackets a minus b i. At this year, we can express this as x plus six i into brackets. Also, open bracket x minus six i close brackets. Then equals to zero here. Also, here we have two possible cases. First one, x plus six i equals to zero. What we have? x minus 6i equals to 0 here. And solving from here, this gives us x equals to minus 6i, which is a complex solution here. And here also, we have x equals to 6i, which is also a complex solution here. Making two complex solutions from here. Then solving from the second case as well, that this x square minus 6 square equals to 0. This also follows when we have a square minus b square, which is the same thing as a plus b into bracket, open bracket a minus b. That is here. Yeah. We can express this as x plus 6 into brackets open bracket x minus 6 which is now equals to 0 here also we have two possible cases the first one x plus 6 equals to 0 or we have x minus 6 equals to 0 here so we here we have x equals to minus 6 which is your solution here and also here we have x equals to 6 which is also a real solution here. Making two real solutions as well. Altogether, we have four solutions here. Two real and two complex solutions. And we can write it out from here. That is, we have the first solution, x1, from here we say, the first solution, x1, equals to 6 x2 
equals to minus 6. And x3, we have 6i. x4, we have minus 6i. Making four solutions here all together. Two real and two complete solutions. Now, let's check if this satisfies this given problem. That is a substitute, the value of x here. When x equals to 6, this equation becomes 6 squared over 36. Is it equals to, also here we have 36 over 6 squared. And 6 squared, 6 times 6, that's 36 over 36. Is it equals to 36 over, also 6 squared, 36. And of course, 6 squared, 36 over 36, that's 1. Which is equals to also 36 over 36, that's 1. Left hand side is equals to the right hand side, that is x equals to 6 satisfy this given problem. Also, we solve the things. x equals to minus 6. And this equation here become minus 6 all square over 36. Is it equals to also 36 over minus 6 all square? And when we square minus, turn to plus. So 6 square also 36. Then over 36, is it equals to also here 36 over minus 6 square, also 36. And 36 over 36, that's 1, which is equals to 1. Then left hand side also equals to the right hand side, which implies minus 6 also satisfy this given problem. Then you substitute x equals to 6i as well. And this equation becomes 6i all square over 36. Is it equals to also 36 over 6i all square? Then this square will affect 6. That is, we have 6 square times also affect i. That's i square over 36. Is it equals to 36 over also here we have 6 square times i square? And the c square, of course, that's 36 times i square. You should know that that's minus 1. And here we have times minus 1 over 36. Is it equals to also 36 over c square? That's 36 times i square minus 1. Then here, yeah, 36 cancel each other. This gives us minus 1. Is it equals to also 36 cancel each other? We have 1 over minus 1. And here we have minus 1 equals to 1 over minus 1 also minus 1. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. That is 6i also satisfy this given problem. Then substitute x equals to minus 6i as well. Then here this equation becomes minus 6i over 6 or square. Over 36, is it equals to 36 over also minus 6i all square? A minus square, turn to plus 6 square, that's 36. i square, that's minus 1 over 36. Is it equals to also here we have 36 over 36 times minus 1? This 36 cancel each other, we have minus 1. Is it equals to also 36 cancel each other, we have 1 over minus 1? Which implies here we have minus 1 equals to 1 over minus 1, that's minus 1. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. That is here. Minus 6i also satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos. And turn the notification bell on. Share this video with thumbs up and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.